Okay, so wind uh, blows over large portions of water and the power density increases and we call it waves. And uh, the energy density also increases. So what, what nature does for us from solar, from sun, to wind, to wave, is just to increase the power density and the energy density. So, uh, and that was what I started to call high level renewables. Uh, that means that they are, are uh, on places on Earth, they are continuous. They can be used at base load. And when they go all over the year, 24 hours a day, uh, they will also become environmental, much more environmentally interesting and much more competitive from an economic point of view. The problem is, can we harness it? Can we do some engineering so we can solve this? Seaways is uh, a company that started off uh, from Uppsala University where uh, a lot of research has been done on liner generators. The technology that Seabase used, uh, it's um, from the research at the university from the beginning. And Seabase is a spin-off company from this technology. The thing that's unique about our product is that we do mostly of all our parts here in the factory and it means that we can have an overhaul over our process uh, that's pretty hard to get if you buy components from different parts of the world. We do everything ourselves in the factory and when it's done it comes to the final assembly and we have uh, quality checks on everything so it's good and then we put it together to the final product. Uh, we are developing uh, manufacturing technology with robotics uh, for uh, assembling big generators. Uh, and uh, we have a big application in Seabase in the generator that they use in their wave energy converter. Uh, so we work at some, uh, a few more complicated tasks which are not uh, now done in the industry somewhere else. I am trying to automate this process to drive down the cost of uh, wave power generators or any kind of generator that utilizes permanent magnets and the steel sheets that has to be mounted together. Whatever we are doing as a conversion from high-level mechanical energy, which wave represents, to electricity. We do that with high level of working efficiency degree in a generator. Uh, and then get it to the grid as smooth and as good as possible. We install the generators and the buoy and everything and the substation was already assembled. And when we connect the first buoy and we say, Wow, N now we have power on the grid. We're actually ahead, uh, and right now we're uh, getting renewable energy out to Sweden's energy grid, and that's pretty amazing. It's a really simple construction, and it's uh, also cheap in materials, and I think if you're gonna be a company that's out there fighting with uh, all the other renewable energy companies, you have to be one that's actually costs efficiency to produce and I think Seabase is that. We are rolling on market where we know that we can compete with existing prices. With Ghana, when told me was that we have, we don't have an ambassador from Sweden in Ghana. We don't, I mean I have a vague idea what Ghana was. But suddenly there was a guy coming in and said I want to have wave power. Because I have looked at the waves, I have done my home journey and the wind doesn't blow, the sun goes down. Uh, and it had the same physical argument as I had 15 years ago when I went through the physics. But he came from a totally different other culture. And he says that if we can have wave extraction in Ghana, we will help the population in Ghana. Actually motivated me was that my country was in crisis. And we needed a solution, and nobody was coming up with that solution. Everybody was still talking about we getting more gas, exploiting more gas, exploiting more oil, which we didn't have, and we didn't have the money for it. And I was looking at the natural resources. I looked at solar, and I realized there's intermittent problems. So I looked at wind, and also I realized there's also intermittent problems. 
So I was looking for alternative. And the only alternative I could see was the sea because the sea is constantly moving. And the concept for this uh, technology is simple. It's kinetic energy combined with magnetic and electrical energy rectifying and stepping up to the grid. Yeah, it's a modular system that is, uh, you can start uh, a low level and just increase it pending either your risk reward situation, your financing situation, or, 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 or you simply want to take slow steps. But uh, oh, want us to do this as good as possible all the time, so it's all the time uh, well, improvement of the product. So yes, the future in wave energy in Africa is bigger than Europe. But if we allow to continue, uh, then I think it, this can be rather substantial uh, activity. Mm -hmm.